Well, hey, this is Josh Nelson with Plumbing and HVAC SEO. And on this video, I want to walk you through the process of really how to maximize your results um, with local service ads uh, or with uh, Google local services. Um, ideally, if you're watching this video, this video is intended for you if you've already gone through the background check process, you're already approved, and now you're at that point, it's like, okay, I'm in, what do I do next? How can I put my best foot forward? How can I make sure I stay in the three-pack rotation up in the search results? And um, how can I, what tweaks can I make to make this work as effectively as possible? Because as the contractor, there are very specific things you must do to really to be effective and to, to be in the long game with local services. So, um, you know, I'm not going to spend a ton of time, but I just want to kind of show you real quick again. Uh, this is where local service ads comes into play. Um, you know, we run a search on Google right now. Uh, it's coming up above the fold. So on the mobile phone, it's what the, the very first thing you see. On desktop, it's the very first thing you see. There's only three results. And we know that there's hundreds of contractors in your same area that want to show up for those same results. And um, the cost right now per, per lead is the same, right? As I shoot this video, um, you know, you can't pay extra to, to, to get preferential ranking. So you have to be strategic about why you belong in that three pack if you're willing to spend the same amount as all of the other competitors. So that's what I really want to focus on um, on this video. So a couple a couple things. First of all, you've got to dial in your service area, your profile, and your budget. This is a relatively simple platform, but that doesn't mean you can miss the fundamentals, right? There's very basic fundamental things you want to know about, you want to understand within the dashboard. So I'm going to open up the dashboard on this video. I'm going to show you how to get around inside of it, and I'm going to show you the things you need to pay really, really close attention to. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to like just kind of dive into setting up your profile. The second thing is, and this I cannot understand enough, is that you must mark your jobs as booked, right? Again, we talked about this, hundreds of contractors competing for um, for these jobs that Google has to, or these leads that Google has to distribute. They really, what they want is for their end consumer to have a good experience. When they're looking for a plumber, they're looking for an HVAC contractor, they're looking for home service professional, they want to know that the person that they show as guaranteed uh, is going to, to show up. They're going to answer their phone. They're going to complete the job. So they want data, right? They, they, they don't just want the money. They've got billions of dollars. Yes, they want to monetize this. Yes, they want to have this be a new profit center. They were making more on a per click basis, in my opinion, based on looking at the information. Um, they want to create a better experience for the consumer. So it is imperative that you let them know those deals, those leads that come in through the platform, you let them know, okay, we got this one, right? We got that one. This one didn't convert. This one was not a qualified lead. And the, the contractors that play that game and close the loop and they give Google the data that they need are going to win. So we're going to show you, this is critically important. It needs to be you, somebody in your office, somebody on your team doing this on a very, very, very consistent basis. If you're going to be in local service ads and you absolutely should be, you've got to do this. This isn't like an optional thing. You want to deal with disputes. This is more for your own personal financial profitability. You know, just to kind of dial in, did, did you get leads outside the area? Did you get solicitors? Just to, to make sure you're not paying for unqualified leads. And you want to drive verified reviews. I really think the two things are going to drive your ranking in local service ads over time. It's going to be the number of reviews you have, especially verified reviews. So I'm going to show you what those verified reviews are. I'm going to show, show you how they show up in the results. And um, most importantly, how to request them through the platform. Because this is different than a regular Google review. This is different than a review you might request through uh, Review Buzz or Nearby Now. These are actually reviews through the, the Google Local Services platform. And I want to show you some reporting um, that you can pull up. You should be looking at it on a weekly, monthly, quarterly basis within your Google Local Services platform. Um, to, to make sure that you're, you're targeting an 85% or better uh, booking rate, right? So I'm going to show you how to access this where you're able to look at your platform and say, okay, here's how many leads we got, here's how many we told Google we converted, right? 
and we want to shoot for 85%. Right? If we're 85%, we're doing better than the other contractors. We're giving Google what they want, and we're giving them every reason to, to continue to send us the leads. So let's, let's look at this. Let's look at dialing in the profile. Um, we're going to pull up an example of this, and I just want to kind of walk you through the platform and show you how it works. So I'm going to pull, pull up a um, Google local service ads um, dashboard here. If I can find it, hang in with me. I know I've got it open somewhere. There it is. Okay. So this is our, our Google Local Ads platform. When you log in, this is what you see. And you might be like, well, I don't understand what I'm looking at here, right? Um, well, these are your new, new calls that come in, new leads. These are the actives. These are the ones that you showed as booked. Um, and these are the ones that, that are complete, right? And then these are the archive. So believe it or not, you can click on these. And this is where you get the details, right? So this is where you can dial into a call and mark it as booked. Uh, dispute the job, archive it if it didn't convert. And so you, you need to know that that's what this dashboard is for. So you can quick snapshot see, here are my leads, here are the ones that are active, and, and to close that stuff out, right? So that's that's basic fundamental. But over here, we've got the, the little three bars on the left-hand corner. When you click that down, there's a couple different things, right? So there's billing, where you can see how much you charged, what credit card you have set up. Not a lot to be, to be done here. Um, Below that or above that, we've got our profile. And this is pretty important. And we're going to talk about how to dial in this profile in a second. I want to give you a high snapshot overview of this platform, how it works, and kind of how to navigate it. But in this profile is where you set the types of jobs you want, um, what your budget is, um, the reason somebody should choose you versus the competition, your service area. And it's really important that you spend some time to dial this in because it will instruct Google how many leads they should send you, what types of jobs you want, and sometimes if you're lazy with this, um, you miss out on a lot of opportunity that could otherwise be capitalized on. Um, we've got reviews, and of course this is where you can warehouse your Google reviews, you can warehouse your, um, your Google verified reviews, which we're going to talk about in a minute, and then we can also request reviews from here directly through the platform for reviews within the platform. And then we've got reports. And so this is what I was talking about here, where you can look at the report, you can see what your average booking efficiency is. Um, really important that you're paying attention to this and that you've got this on lock. So that's it. Just wanted to make sure you're aware, kind of on the side here, you've got all of these different drop downs and things that you can do, things that you can interface with. So the first thing we want to do is we want to look at our profile. We want to kind of dial it in and make sure that it's maxed out uh, in terms of what can be done. So a couple things, I'm going to kind of hit the bullets and then we're going to go and we're going to look at it together. First of all, you want to open up your budget, right? I'm going to suggest the average cost per lead via Google uh, local services right now is lower than you can get through pay-per-click, higher quality than you can get from Home Advisor. Um, really, it's really high quality leads at a low cost. So if you've got technicians standing by, if you're spending money on other things that aren't necessarily generating a solid return on investment, I would open this. I would open this up as wide as possible. So I'm going to talk about that, the ramifications of that, how to do it. Um, you want to update your schedule. Make sure that it's um, it's active on the times and hours that you're available. Update your business bio. Uh, select the job types that you're interested in. Set up your service area. This is important. This is where you can kind of get strategic with going wide or going narrow, removing uh, zip codes in areas that um, aren't good quality for you. Um, update the hours of operation. This impacts um, when your when your ads are going to show, right? If you're showing your hours closed, your ad schedule um, not on during a period of time, you won't be in the rotation for those. And then add photos and personality. If Google's giving you the opportunity to add some photographs, by all means, let's do that. It'll make your 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 listing stand out. And I really recommend having personality based photo as opposed to um, just the generic picture of your logo. Or, or something like that. Hold on, let me just try and find the search. There it is, the search result that I had up. So as an example, we, we go in, we look at Bohemia, right? This is Varsity, right? We've got their contact, their name, their phone number. This is your obviously your track number. And then we've got photos here. So in the perfect world, I'd prefer this be like a team shot, right? That way they can be like, oh, okay, cool. Like that's who I'm choosing to do business with. Um, if you don't put photos, 
you've got an empty box here, which is, in my opinion, a waste of conversion space, right? If they get to this page, we want them to dial the number. Let's use all of the assets at our disposal to make that to make that a reality. So inside here, there's lots of little toggle switches, lots of things that, that you want to look at. Um, since we just spoke about um, photos, we can go in here. And this is where you would add your add your photos. You definitely want photos and you want personality-based photos. That will make your, your listing stand out. The next is your is your budget, right? So when we click here on the toggle for budget, we can choose monthly max. Um, we can do all kinds of things, but really you want to set your average weekly budget. And, and I'm really going to suggest you open this up quite a bit. Like everybody's different. The, one of the beautiful things about local uh, local services is that you can toggle it up, you can toggle it down. Um, I think, you know, you open this up as wide as you can. That way you can, you can max out the lead potential. Again, it's the lowest cost per lead you can get. But this is how you do it. You go right in here, you set that budget, you ratchet it up, you ratchet it down, you pause it, you activate it. Um, if you want more leads, you expand that, that budget out. The other thing you want to do is, is just kind of check on these settings right here, right? For plumbing and HVAC, you know, what are the, what are the things that make you stand out? Years in business, locally operated, uh, service guaranteed, but try and pick things that, that, that are really important to you and your customer. Um, make sure all those, those boxes are checked. Um, look at your job types, kind of pick the ones that you want. Make sure that you don't have the ones that you don't want. Um, again, if they're looking for your services, you've got the wherewithal to show up. You may as well, um, you, you may as well turn as many of these on as is relevant to you as a contractor. And then this one's the biggie. Um, the biggie is this service area right here. Because it's easy to go in and just type in a city. You want to spend some time and, and really expand the service area to the area that you truly serve, that you are willing to drive out to. And then spend some time looking at zip codes that you may not uh, want to deal with. And you can add them or remove them one zip code at a time. And I really recommend doing that. Again, you're going to show up to the extent that you have selected these cities, or you're going to be eligible to show up in the in the rotation. So you want to choose the cities. You want to choose the you know remove the ones that you don't, uh, and then make sure that your ad schedule is congruent to the um, to the hours that you operate. So like right now, this is set to all day. Um, you might want to set custom hours. You might want to only set the hours when you're available to answer. Again, we want a high booking rate. Um, we want a high conversion rate. Um, and so you got to answer the phone. You got to be able to dispatch somebody in order to hit those two criteria. So make sure that that's that's congruent. And and kind of revisit this. I think this dashboard is something you need to revisit on a pretty consistent basis. Like, has the service area changed a little bit? Are you getting jobs outside the area that you want to, that you don't want to deal with? Um, did you add maybe some after hours accessibility that you can you can toss into the equation? Um, are there jobs that you're getting calls for that you don't necessarily like or that you don't necessarily want? Spend some time dialing in this um, this profile so that you can really maximize your results. So that's the piece here. Dial it in, uh, add the photos, update the business hours, right? So that's fundamentals. Get that piece squared away. The next thing is you have to mark your jobs as booked. I talked about you know Google wants to serve a great result um, to their to their consumers, so they want if they if they ran a search, and again this is the the case use for this, somebody goes to Google and they type in Louisville plumber, right? They can choose from the guaranteed results. They can click on the paid listings. They can go to the organic. There's still a lot of people clicking down here in the organic and, and still on the paid, but Google obviously added this because they want to generate a better result. So we want to give Google the data. We want to show them that you're not only getting the calls, but you're converting the jobs. So how do we do that? We got to go in here to our dashboard to the leads page, and this is where we can see the leads that have come in. Um, and what we want to do is click on active, and then any call that comes in, you you know, I'm sure people are aware, but you can click on this, and you can hear the conversation, you can add details, and you can mark the job as scheduled, booked, or you know, archived. Not a, not a good deal. So um, click here, hit recordings. And Ensure you the highest quality service. Commercial, I think. So you want someone 
listening to this within the platform, not in Service Titan only, not out on call rail exclusively, but here within the Google Local Service Ads dashboard, listening to determine was this a job that we scheduled or that we booked. And we've got to communicate that to Google. This is mission critical stuff here, guys. Don't uh, don't miss this as something you really, 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 really need to do if you want to continue to capitalize on this opportunity. So um, it already came in. It's all classified. You would go in. You'd put the customer's name. You'd put their email. That's why you can push out a request for the verified review. Uh, you could put some notes. This is not nearly as important, but this is where it's at right here. Either market is booked, which means already completed, and you can ask for the review now. Uh, upcoming, which means it's scheduled for some point in the future, right? And then save. This step right here cannot be overlooked. Every single lead that comes into your dashboard needs to be addressed. It needs to be marked as booked, scheduled, or archived. Archived just meaning, you know, we, we tried to follow up with them. They didn't convert. Archive, it, it did not, um, it didn't go anywhere. The other thing you can do, and this is going to be our next step, um, here in, in what we're looking at is to is to deal with disputes. So every now and then you'll get a lead that's outside the area. Um, maybe they weren't just weren't actually qualified. Um, they were asking for something that you don't do. And so you're being charged on a per lead basis. Google has been very fair with this process. So all you need to do in here is go dispute, right? And when you click dispute, it pulls up a little toggle switch and choose what it was, submit. This way you keep a really clean dashboard, right? You get your, your active, booked, completed, and archived. And everything needs to be addressed at some point or another. It shouldn't be open, and you need to be kind of really um, fleshing this out and communicating it back to Google. So hopefully that's crystal clear, right? We're gonna set up our profile. We're gonna be getting the calls because we've set the right uh, budget, we've set the, the right service area, um, and then as the calls come in, we're going to either mark them as booked, or we're going to dispute them, or we're going to archive them. That way it's, it's all being communicated the way that Google wants it to be. The next thing we want to do is to drive verified reviews. And so there's a difference between a, a Google review and a verified review, and I really believe um, the more verified reviews that you get, the better it's going to be for you um, in terms of your your shelf life on Google local service uh, local services. So when we run a search right now and we pull up anybody's listing, uh, the first thing that Google shows is these verified jobs. So a verified job means um, the job was booked through um, the local services. Somebody called that number, you know this number here. The contractor marked it as complete, and then the email went out to the customer asking them to write the review and they went ahead and followed that process all the way through. Um, the gold standard of review for you within local services is going to be your verified job. So let's see how we get these verified jobs. So uh, again, one way is to, just to kind of follow this process right here. We go into the job, um, we enter the customer's name and email. Google has to have the email in order to request the review. Because remember, all we're tracking is the phone call. So we enter the, the email address here. Uh, we mark as booked. And then we click this toggle switch, request for review. Um, the customer is agreed to receive it, right? So there's one way to do this process. The other way is, you know, so you do this more on a batch level at the end of every week, at the end, end of every month. You go down here into reviews. You can see all the ones that are, you know, tied to your Google local services. But then you can you know, do the jobs that you showed as book. They show up here in the ask for review section. And then you just click ask for review. Boom, and it takes you to the process. You have to enter their name, their email address, and you have authorization to submit it. And then you, you, can, tile, you can type that in and it sends off the request for review. And when they follow the process, that's how it gets, it gets tagged as a verified review. Now, really, really important on this front, I think that these verified reviews are important. This is different, remarkably different than um, adding them to Nearby Now and having a request review go there, different than putting them in um, Podium, different than putting them on um, Review Buzz, which a lot, of the, a lot of you guys use and they're great tools. Um, those are going to send an email asking for review and then having them write a review on their review site of choice, right? Like whether it's Google or Yelp or Angie's List, that is different than this. this 
verified reviews need to come straight to the platform in the way that I've just showed you. So make sure that you've got somebody on your team that's marking the jobs as booked and then requesting the review by typing in their name and email address and, and following that process. Really, really important. I think it's going to have a big impact on how you rank in that three pack, how competitive you are, and how many leads you can ultimately get through Google, Google local service ads. Now, the last piece of this uh, is to target an 85% or higher booking rate. So in order to look at how this works, so Google's looking at all the leads that you get, the phone calls, the ones that aren't marked as disputed, and then they're, they're looking at how many of them that you marked as, as booked, and they're, they're looking at your, your booking efficiency rate. So um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go to a different one here, though I know that there, there's been enough of these converted jobs to know. So in, inside your dashboard, you've got leads, reports, reviews, uh, profile, and billing. I want you to go to reports, and on any given month, really what we're looking for ideally is an 85% plus um, booking rate. That's this number right here, this booking rate. So right now this client is at um, 56%, which is actually pretty good. Listen, 85% is an aggressive target. Uh, obviously, it's kind of arbitrary. Google doesn't say, oh, you need to have at least 85%. But I really believe if you can get into the 75, 85% booking efficiency rate, um, obviously Google's going to feel like you're playing by the rules, you're hitting necessary benchmarks, um, you're winning, the consumer's winning, and, and Google's winning. So um, you know, just pay attention to this report. I'm a big believer that what gets measured gets done, and also what gets measured improves. So you should have a, a process where you're looking at this on a pretty consistent basis. What is your booking rate, right? And you know, if you're closing your jobs effectively, if you're following through, we should be able to get that to the 80, 85% territory, and that's gonna bode really well for you on Google local service ads. So in a nutshell, these are the things that you need to do in order to, to, really, um, to really be effective um, and to win. You know, the, one th the main things I want you to focus on as the contractor is to you know, mark your jobs as booked. Pick who in your company is going to be responsible for this process. Who's going to listen to those calls, mark them as booked, mark them as scheduled, and or dispute or archive the leads. Um, and then who's going to push out the uh, verified review requests, right? So after those jobs are marked as booked, entering the name, entering the email address, requesting the review. And then who's going to run the report on a, um, on a monthly basis, on a quarterly basis, to see what that booking rate is. And you know, again, what gets measured gets done and always improved. So who's going to be looking at that, bringing it to your leadership team, and making sure that you're constantly moving the needle in terms of that booking rate. So I hope this has been helpful. You know, I'm super excited for you now to be in local service ads, excited to see you crush it, continue to stay in the three pack, continue to really generate high quality leads that monetize and help you grow your plumbing or HVAC business. Um, if you've got questions about this, feel free to give us a call, 866-610-4647. Um, if you'd like to talk with us or schedule a time, you can go to plumberseo.net slash schedule. Um, there you can, you can connect with us. Um, we really appreciate your business. Your account manager has been trained on this process. Um, they will be holding you accountable to these standards and helping to support you in this process to the highest degree possible. So appreciate your business. Hope you got great value from this. And we'll look forward to talking with you again soon.